You know, people think like, oh, you know, they passed away and they're gone. But I don't believe that. I believe that they're always present. And although they're not here physically, I do believe that they're here. I got introduced to Dia de los Muertos as a young teacher. One of my colleagues, Graciela Olivar, who later became my comadre, we just had this idea of doing something for Dia de los Muertos. It's a tradition. I don't even know if it would be called a holiday. The, uh, the tradition is about remembering. That's how I would describe it. It's about remembering and about honoring. You saw, you know, people um, going to the cemetery, cleaning the, the plot, you know, putting the flowers, you know, bringing out things that that person liked or things that symbolized that person. It could be a very humble arco, they call it an arco, um, or ofrenda, or it could be a very elaborate one. So we just thought, you know, we love the idea of doing something like that, so then as teachers, it was just important, you know, to inform the kids about why it's important to um, honor our dearly departed and to remember. Somebody came before us and, and we we're able to reap some of those benefits and help to make the road a little smoother for those who are, who are coming um, after us. People think it's about, you know, dressing up like a skeleton or, you know, the definition is it just varies. The way it's celebrated in other places in Mexico is different. And then the way it's celebrated here also is different. You know, I started um, thinking, well, like, you know, let's do something in, in my home. So I started putting together a little altar and then I remembered about my grandmother and how my grandma always had that space in her room with her candles and her Cristo and her Virgen. It was just a small space. It wasn't anything big and she didn't call it an altar. She just, it was her space that, that she had to, you know, remember and, uh, and pray. And so, yeah, so then I started thinking, hey, this has always been part of our family, but we just didn't call it Dia de los Muertos. And having a space in our home, a space where, you know, you, you go to, to, to reflect, to remember, to pray. It's a space where we can remember. It's a space where we can realize that these folks were here. I mean, you know, these folks walked this, you know, life just like we're walking right now. It's an opportunity to share stories. I think it's a very important thing is to um, tell the story of who they are and who they were and what they did. I want my son to know who his antepasados were. I want him to remember who they are. Um, you know, I want him to know like when somebody passes away, that like currently, you know, we have a space in our home to keep them there and remember who they were and who they are. Because they are. Siempre están aquí. You know, those are, you know, people think like, oh, you know, they pass away and they're gone. But I don't believe that. I believe that they're always present. They're always presente. And although they're not here physically, I do believe that they're here, you know, and and not just once a year, not just around Dia de los Muertos, you know, they're here. So, you know, our altar stays up every day. Our altar, represents a lot it represents first of all all of our family right all of like my brother who's there you know i'm calling on him all the time you know watch over your kids you know watch over your grandkids there's certain folks up there who i have watching over my son there's so certain folks there that i have watching over you know me my parents you know i hope 
that when my son moves out of our house, going to college, that he has some place in his dorm, just a little, it doesn't have to be elaborate, but just some small space where he can remember. Sometimes people might think, oh God, that's morbid or whatever. And you know what? Um, people will think what they think, but as long as we know why we're doing it, um, then that doesn't matter. So I hope, you know, he will carry this on.